All right, people, we are back, man. It's fight day, UFC 278, baby. Uh, I should have did this video yesterday, but, man, I, you know, work is crazy. Um, I'm really excited. I just, um, really excited about the the last main three three fights, you know. Uh, of course, Jose Aldo, Marab, um, Rockhold, Paulo, and, um, of course, Usman and Leon for the main event. Uh, these are the fights that I really care about. Uh, everything else is cool. I'll watch them, of course. The fights start in a couple hours. I'll get this video up. I gotta hit, head to Tracy in a little bit. Um, so I'll make this video while I get when I get out there and then upload it right before the fights. Um, so maybe it'll, it'll, uh, sorry about that. Maybe it'll, it'll, um, be last minute, but hey, better late than never. You know what I'm saying? I just, I definitely wanted to talk about these fights because, um, when it comes to Jose and Marab, I'm really interested in that fight, and I'm really rooting for Jose, just because I like Marab, don't get it twisted, but uh, I want to see Jose co compete at, I want to see him get the, get, uh, get towards the lightweight, or the bantamweight strap, so like, if he, like, um, beats Marab, he could possibly be next in line, on it, um, now, maybe not, actually, because Sean O'Malley and P Peter Jan, obviously, so it'll be, a, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what happens next, um, I, I think if he can stop the takedowns from Marab, he can win the fight uh, standing up. Um, and, it, and, and it's a three-round fight. It be definitely benefits him. I also believe that same thing for Rockhold as well. I think a three-round fight benefits Rockhold. Um, but uh, for Jose, I think if he stops the, stops the takedown, he stops the takedown, he can possibly win this fight, man, and beat him on the feet. You know, low kicks... Uh, some nice body shots. He throws to the body, goes up high. Um, I think his gas tank will maintain for the three rounds. So it's very interesting. Obviously, rooting for Jose for the rock hold and um, for the rock hold and Paulo fight. I want rock hold to win. I feel like Paulo's gonna sleep him. That's my honest opinion. I want rock hold. Think Paulo's gonna sleep him. I'm curious to see because uh, I know rock hold is, of course is over there at Ruka. He's training with Jason Perillo. I know he went to AKA for a little bit. I know he went to Florida uh, to train with um, train at Sanford. I believe Sanford. I'm not sure. I believe it was Sanford that he went to go train at. Um, and I'm just curious, like if Rockhold's gonna stand with him. I would like to see Rockhold take him down, take him down, and implement his top game. Because if he gets him under the floor, I think he can smush him. I think I think Rockhold can smush him and implement his top game. Also, like I said, the, with the Jose fight, it's three rounds. I think uh, Rockhold's been out for three years. I think this three round fight benefits him. It is definitely a scary fight because we know Paulo. I know Paulo cut weight and made weight. But we know from the Marvin fight, even though he didn't cut all that weight, he uh, went all five rounds and threw hard all five rounds. Didn't really run out of gas. He looked scary all five rounds. Now, mind you, the weight cut can affect your, your gas tank, so it's it's really interesting to see. I, I'm just interested. That's a very interesting matchup. I would like Rockhold to win, take him down, smush him, and uh, maybe finish him. But I feel like uh, if Paulo clips him or catches him, it's over, you know? And then, of course, we have the main event, Kamaru Usman, Leon Edwards, for the welterweight title. I think this will be his sixth title defense, um, his 16th fight win in a row if he wins. Um, very interesting fight. I don't. I, I think Usman's going to take it, but uh, if he's sleeping on Leon, it might be a long night for him, you know? Um, it's very interesting. I'm very excited about this fight. I want to see... I just want to see a good fight. I would like to see Leon win just to shake up the world. I love when shit gets shooken up in the game. You know what I mean? It just makes things more exciting uh, down the line, you know, for the fight game. We'll see if Usman tries to fight him the same way he did in the first fight, whether with the wrestling and, and uh, putting him up on the fence and taking him down and stuff like that. Uh, or if he's really confident in his stand-up, if he's just going to stand and strike with him. Five rounds, who knows? He might do both, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and all, of course, he's a wrestler at heart, so if things get rough for him on the feet, he obviously can resort to takedowns, and I think he knows that. Uh, it's just what, uh, the matter of Leon defending those takedowns, you know, and um, defusing them. So uh, we will see, but obviously I'm picking, I'm picking Usman, Paulo, and Jose. Those are my picks. Like I said, I want Leon, 
just to shake up the world. It's nothing against Usman. I'm a big fan of Usman. Seen him fight a few times uh, live. I love Usman. I just like things to get sh shooken up, you know. Um, but like I said, I want Leon. I want Leon. I want Luke. And I want Jose. But my picks are Usman. Usman, Paulo, and Jose. Those are my official picks. I want to watch these uh, ceremonial weigh-ins. Of course, the last three fights. Those are the ones that really matter to me and are um, the most interesting to me. The rest of the fights, no disrespect. I, I, I will definitely watch every single fight, but these are the ones that matter, and I think these are the ones that matter to you guys as well. So we'll just check these out. Aljo will be in his corner. He'll definitely be there, I'm sure. But up on the scale, Marab Wabashwili, yeah. official weight 136. And his opponent, the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, Jose Aldo. I believe Jose's only 34. He's got a lot of fight years. I think he's been fighting for 18 years. Official he's only like 34 or something 136. Like 136. Made it, baby. That's good. This is a very, very interesting fight. Styles make fights, man. So this is a very interesting fight. Very interesting. Marab, Wabash Willie, and Jose Aldo, ladies and gentlemen. The next fight takes place in the middleweight division. Paulo Costa versus Luke Rockhold. There we go. Look at Rockhold, man. These two guys are scale, just Luke shredded. Jack. Official weight, 185.5 for the Rockhold's former champion. Guy, and his opponent, Paulo. Damn, look at Paulo, man. Yeah, it just dance is a scary fight for Luke, bro. Like, for real, man. This is a real scary fight for him. Training with Perillo, that's his head coach, and Perillo's, you know, a boxing coach, of course, you know, former uh, champion Michael Bisbing's coach, uh, Cyborg, you know, so it's interesting. I wonder if he's going to strike with Paulo. I would suggest not to. Maybe mix it up, but try to go for the takedown, you know? All right, Damn, let's Dana's take a like closer look at the two men involved. Introducing the Dana challenger, Leon! Don't get into Leon big, man. He's tall. He's tall, man. But we saw Nate hurt him in the last Official minute of the fifth round, you know, with a, with a nice punch. And Usman's got powerful, powerful long strikes. He's got a nice right hook. He's got a nice jab. Long jab snaps at the end of it. So it's real interesting. Undisputed welterweight champion of the world, the Nigerian nightmare, the Mongo. I missed his fight. I missed his debut.
Yeah, look at him. Big, man. He's got a big ass head. Yeah, I got a big ass head. Fuck, this is good, dude. This is good. Look at his brother, Mug, and Leon, though. I am here with the challenger, Leon Edwards. Leon, this fight has been a long time coming. There's been many hurdles for you. Tomorrow night it's here. Give us your thoughts on what this means to you and how you expect it to go down. Salt Lake City, what up? Listen, it's been, it's been a long time coming. Uh, finally, our uh, paths crossed, and tomorrow night, I put that pound for pound thing to the test, and we'll see. Let's go. Well, very excited to see it. Good luck to you, sir. Leon Edwards, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the champ. Kamaru, so much time has passed since you <laughs> Look at Joe Rogan with Leon his baby back. <laughs> so much has changed in your game and in his game. What is going to be different tomorrow night when you defend Dude, your title? Dude, his brother just be mugging. So much has been said. Been so mad Leon for? said a lot, and he truly believes that. But one thing I have to say is, take it Look at him. from who? The champ, ladies and gentlemen. It. Thank you all for coming out. We will see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Good all night. All right. Nice. Interesting. Like I said, man, Next. these fights are interesting. I love them. Um, I'm going to definitely be watching every single fight. Um... We'll see what happens. The beautiful thing about this sport is you never know what can happen, man. You never know. You can think, you can think you know, but you never fully do know, man. And that's the most beautiful thing about this sport is that shit can go crazy. It's chaos in there, man. So um, when it drops, man, when this video drops, man, like it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, man. I appreciate you guys. We're at 927. Um, yeah, man, I appreciate everybody rocking with me, man. I love y'all. Peace.